New Year, New You. What are the goals for your shop for 2018? Hey, it's Pam Duffy and it's a Monday, so it must be another Eatsy Tips video. Every Monday I make videos just like these, tips and tricks to help the artist or crafter grow their online business. So have you made New Year's resolutions for your shop? Let us know in the comments below what your plans are for 2018. So Happy New Year! It's a new year and it's a new start. We've got a blank slate for what we're going to do with our shops for the next coming year. And it's always important to give yourself some goals so you've got some targets to meet and then you can hold yourself accountable to make sure that you're doing what you need to be doing to drive ahead and do great in 2018. But it's really important to have realistic and achievable goals. It's so easy to sit down on say the 1st of January and say okay this year I'm gonna make five figures in sales, I'm going to do this, that and the other thing and you're probably going to be disappointed. Now don't get me wrong, we all have secret sales goals and everything that we'd like to make but the problem with making sales goals or revenue goals is it's not a goal that we can directly influence. It's much better to make yourself a goal of things that you can achieve and these things will help improve your chances of getting sales targets, etc. But if you say you want to make so many sales, that's just really something that's not under your control. So let's think about the things that we can have under our control. So a certain level of activity is a good goal that you can have. Say to yourself that you'll improve or list or relist a certain number of items every single week. Make this an achievable target because what we don't want to do is burn yourself out saying oh you're going to make 10 new listings every week and then by the middle of January you can't do that anymore. Depending on how long it takes for you to create an item, something like one or two listings a week might be an achievable goal and even so that's going to give you 50 to 100 listings in a year. Even if you can only make one listing in a month, that still gives you 12 more listings in your shop. Another really excellent goal is how to manage your time better. This time last year I sat down and made myself a timesheet. I haven't stuck to it perfectly but it really helped me focus my mind much better. Giving myself times through the day to respond to emails rather than constantly checking emails. Giving myself days of the week to stock check to work on my tax returns, doing all the little bits a little bit at a time so that I'm not going to be panicking and having to do a big chunk of anything. Another really important goal could be perhaps to give yourself some more places for your work to be seen. Go and do something brave, perhaps walk into a gallery or a gift shop and see if they would like to sell your items. Contact a website, just try and find a set number of new venues. Even if again you're just looking to contact one new venue every single month, by the end of the year there's still a chance that a couple of new places will have taken you on. Try and learn something new about SEO experiment, possibly try different advertising, try different social media platform. Just try and do something new and then see what the results are like and see if it's worth considering. Try a different type of photography, see if you can come up with different ideas for how to photograph your items to make them look even better. A little bit of an improvement every month in your photography, perhaps buying yourself a light tent, some new lights, a different background, just try something new and see how it works out for you. And in the same vein, perhaps challenge yourself to learn a little more about photo editing. Try out a site like Photofuse, I've got a review in the cards up above, or treat yourself to some photo editing software and spend a bit of time learning tutorials on it, watching tutorials on YouTube, teaching you how to edit your photos for an even better photograph. And perhaps even challenge yourself for one or two new different lines, different ideas, different sizes, different styles of work you can do. Always trying to think of something new because you never know what's going to be that one item that's just going to take off. So I hope that's inspired you to give you some ideas of some goals you can give yourself that are achievable over the coming year. Because many, many small changes can add up to a massive change by the end of the year. I'm living proof. For the past five years, my shop has grown year on year. And this is just the cumulative effect of little changes over time. So I hope you guys are going to stay with me for 2018. We can work together and grow our shops together. 
Thank you so much. If this has been useful, don't forget, click on my wee face to subscribe, come back every Monday and check out the video that YouTube's picked just for you to watch. Thank you so much.